What's up guys, welcome back to the Big Logan channel. So today we got a special episode. Pegasus, AKA Peggy the Ram Pro Master is finally done. Today is gonna to be the van tour episode. So if you guys are new to the channel, thanks for watching. And yes, you read that thumbnail correctly. This van is currently for sale. So all that and more details to come in this episode. Let's get this van tour started. So although it is bittersweet to finally finish this van build and also list it for sale, I do have some exciting news in the future which we'll talk about more in this video, more van builds to come in 2021. So Peggy here is a 2019 Ram Pro Master 159 inch wheelbase with just over 1,000 miles on the odometer. Some of the exterior features include Falcon Wild Peak AT3W all-terrain tires and a black wheel for a nice black and silver aesthetic across the entire van. It also includes up top three 100 watt Ren-G solar panels and a black Max Air rooftop vent fan. Moving to the interior, this color scheme is mostly white but includes dark wood and black hardware fixtures for a nice balanced aesthetic. So the main features of this van include a convertible king size bed, a convertible dinette area, as well as a convertible indoor shower. Moving over to the bed area, by design this has a nice plush carpeted finish near the headrest areas, as well as USB charging bedside light combination fixtures. On the driver's side of the bed are two shallow overhead cabinets with attention to their size and impact on the sleeping area. On either side of the bed are C.R. Lawrence bunk side windows and these provide a convenient view outside as well as great ventilation would pair with the Max Air roof end fan. So this bed area converts from a collapsed twin size dimension to an extended 73 inch by 78 inch king size bed dimension. With pre-sheeted five inch memory foam mattress sections turned down for the spacious sleeping area is made convenient. Next to the bed is a dinette area featuring an adjustable lagoon mount table and a convenient wall outlet. So localized lighting is controlled with a touchscreen dimmer switch for fine tuning the lighting in this area. The table can be removed and placed in between both chairs and the seat cushions can be arranged for a comfortable lounge area or small bed. Underneath each chair is a storage drawer, with the front drawer offering a sturdy top for an additional seat or step to ease the entry and exit to and from the bed. Another convertible feature is the butcher block counter space. So this countertop can be lifted to reveal the toilet stowage and indoor shower pan areas. The toilet of choice for this build is the Labio Dry Flush System, which vacuum seals waste for odor-free flushing. Since this dry flush toilet is battery powered, it can be easily moved towards the front of the van when the bed is extended for nighttime use. When the false cabinet front is lifted, the indoor shower head and mixer are revealed, as well as shower curtain hooks. So two shower curtains are used for 360 coverage and they efficiently drape in the tall shower pan lip. In the front of the van, the passenger chair can swivel to open the space while trim and matching carpet is located underfoot. To close this space, Privacy blackout curtains are offered by the captain's and passenger chair for convenient use day or night. The kitchen galley offers a 15 inch by 17 inch Torva stainless steel sink. 
This also includes an adjustable black faucet and a refillable soap dispenser. Next to the sink is a Ramblewood single burner gas cooktop and to complement the cooktop area is a small spice rack and localized lighting control located above the cooktop space. Behind the galley on first entry into the van is a spacious Isotherm Cruise Elegance 130 refrigerator with storage designed for shoes, boots, and footwear underneath. Above the fridge is a catch-all junk drawer and countertop space. Starting off the storage in the kitchen area are two deeper overhead cabinets which also house a flush mounted stainless Black & Decker microwave. Storage in the sink and cooktop vanity comes by three differently sized drawers. These drawers are quite stable when driving with the soft closed drawer sliders. Underneath the sink is the propane stowage space and a pass-through door designed to house a trash can for flexible indoor and outdoor use. The exterior door doubles as a small table for camping and boondocking. For inquiries on this and future builds, be sure to check out mountaineervanworks.com. You can also message me on Instagram at the Big Logan Channel. Moving to the garage area of the van, this storage space is coated with a truck bed liner urethane and offers extreme durability and grip. 34 inch passer door separates the interior from this garage. The electrical distribution panel for the DC and AC electronics resides on the driver's side of the garage, as well as the solar and alternator charge controller, 3000 watt inverter, and the house battery bank. This Renogy DCC50S alternator and solar charge controller utilizes some of the latest technology for managing off-grid and mobile power supply systems. All the electrical controls for battery management, water, AC power, and AC appliances reside in one control panel just behind the captain's chair. This, however, does exclude all the localized lighting controls, which are conveniently located in each of their respective zones. The water system resides on the passenger side of the garage and features a 30 gallon fresh water tank and a Bosch four gallon electric water heater. The water system drain and valve is located here as well with the standardized water hose fitting. Fill in the fresh water tank is a breeze with the stainless marine fill port and no spills can be assured with this sealed cap. Finishing off the garage area is the outdoor shower assembly. The shower head and mixer are in arm's reach with the shower head mount fixed to the passenger door overhead. Two collapsible hooks are located on the opposite side of the van for hang drying wet gear, clothes, and or towels. Sink and shower drainage are directed to an underbody 15 gallon gray tank via robust inch and a half drain lines. So this tank can be drained from inside the van by simply pulling the Valterra gate valve T-handle. This is located in the plumbing access panel of the shower and offers a convenient way to drain this gray tank versus reaching underneath the van. All right guys, well that's a wrap on the van tour for Pegasus, the Ram Promaster. Like I said before, check out mountaineervanworks.com for the full listing. And thanks for watching this episode. Subscribe to the Big Logan channel today. We'll see you guys. Peace.